Chopped up some tatties, gonna mash those up and have them with these corn sausages. Didn't fancy doing much cooking this evening. It's also been a really cold, snowy day today, so I thought this would be the perfect meal. In my lips are... With my mashed potato, I add butter, salt, pepper, and a bit of milk. I feel like milk is controversial. People either add it or they don't, but I find that it just makes it a bit creamier, and I've always added it. Chopped up an onion we had lying around. I'm gonna add some water along with Bisto. It's gonna add that and that'll make a very quick and easy onion gravy. A little bit less veg than we would usually have. That's because we're waiting for our food shop tomorrow. We didn't even have any carrots in the fridge, which we always have. So just peas and broccoli and we've got our sausages. This evening I'm making a salsa to go with some salmon. I've just chopped up a baby gem lettuce. We've got some cherry tomatoes in there. I'm going to add this sweet corn that we have left over. Also going to add some black beans, lime, avocado. I'm going to do one and a half because we have this one left over. We're also going to add lots of coriander, add a bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, mix it all up. There should also be some spring onions in here but I forgot to get them. I'm going to get the oven on for our, um, for our salmon. I'm going to do Cajun salmon. It's really easy. You just sprinkle some Cajun seasoning on top. I should have done this before I chopped it, but I'm gonna add the zest of the lime in too. quite a lot here. I'm gonna get it mixed up. I've added the lime. This will do Doug and I for tonight and then this will do me for a couple of lunches or additions to any of our other dinners this week. Some olive oil and then everything else I just need to chuck into the oven. I cannot wait for the evenings to get lighter because right now filming our dinners it's gonna be in the dark most of the time and the lighting's not great. We're having the salmon with these Leon fries. I'm gonna add a little bit of lime to the salmon. And I'm just gonna sprinkle it with the seasoning. Almost forgot, this goes really well with um, yogurt. Just mix yogurt or coconut yogurt. We never have coconut yogurt, so I just use this Greek yogurt with some Lemon and lemon zest. This is also really nice if you want to add mint to it. I've added in the zest, lime juice, and I've also added some coriander in there because why not? Oh, this looks yummy. There you go, help yourself. Thanks. Got the Leon fries, the salad, and the world's tiniest salmon fillet. Got the yogurt with the lime in. Also gonna have ketchup to go with the chips. This is exactly what I fancied for dinner tonight, so I am going to very much enjoy tucking into this. We are having one of these all plants ready meals. We always have a few of these in the freezer and then on days like today when we don't feel like cooking, we can just shove one of these in the microwave or in the oven. The rigatoni carbonara one of my favorite ones and then um, this will just go in now for 15 minutes done a side salad lettuce cherry tomatoes cucumber and i'm i've popped a bit of this um balsamic dressing on top didn't actually explain what was in this pasta but it is it's basic well it was basically a vegan carbonara there's smoked mushrooms in there with um, some kind of almondy parmesan and broccoli, which is um, <laughs> one of my favourite vegetables. I could have broccoli with any meal, any time of the day. I love the stuff. Right. 
I'm gonna tell them. Yep, you do that. Thank you, bub. Good job. Thought this one helping me with dinner tonight. Do you know what we're having? Huh? Do you know what we're having? No. We are having fish cakes. Oh. Oh. And I have already done some new potatoes. Wow. With some olive oil, salt and pepper. I'm gonna stick those in the oven now. Little tip, if you're able to, try and cook them skin side down for the first part and then give them a shake. Otherwise, I find that they always stick to the bottom. I'll pop those in there. Thank you, gorgeous. Do you want to do a parsnip or a carrot again? Parsnip. Okay. And you do the other carrot. I'm roasting carrots, parsnips, and some baby beetroot. Oh, could you put these in here for me? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. You may have seen me do this recently in um one or two blogs. Roast everything with salt, pepper, and some smoked paprika. Can I add some olive oil? Okay. Can I add it? Do yeah, good job. Apart from that, might need help laying the table. Yay! Together! Yeah, we can do it together. I like how a few vlogs ago I mentioned that we rarely have dinner together because Alila has hers just a tad too early for us. But since then, we've started to have dinner most nights together. Have we got enough for all of us? Yes, yeah. Let's make some more. Oh. Okay, the dog's just tree. over there doing some work. Doug and I are going to have these cod fish cakes which we had in the freezer. And then Delilah's going to have one of these haddock ones. <laughs> I added some walnuts in about five minutes before I took this out of the oven. Already served up Delilah's veg. I've given her some carrots and some parsnip. I've also done her some broccoli and peas. Now I'm gonna add some spinach. The dressing is just olive oil, red wine vinegar, a little bit of honey, and salt and pepper. And pop that on and mix it all together. Do you want to get the um do you want to get the mayonnaise out of the fridge? Got two! Go on it. Yeah, it might as well have ketchup as well. Go on then, thanks Bubba. Yum. Good? Yeah. If you didn't know, uh, we have mayonnaise with pretty much every meal. Oh, and um, Doug and I also have a bit of broccoli as well. I thought if I was putting it on for Delilah, I might as well put some on for us. How is your carrots? Yeah. Peeled extra perfectly. Mmm. Having a fairly quick dinner today, I found these vegetarian meatballs by the vegetarian butcher, which we've never tried before. There's probably not enough in there for all three of us, so I'm going to bulk it out with the meatballs we usually go for, which are the Linda McCartney ones. Pasta-wise, I'm going to have homo spaghetti. It's getting a bit dark, isn't it? I should probably turn the light on. I'm just really enjoying these lighter evenings that I'm just holding on to the very last moment that I need to turn the lights on. I've also been really enjoying lighting candles sort of mid afternoon, late afternoon, early evening. It sparks this calm in me. It feels really nice to sort of have a tidy and then light a candle and it just signifies the end of the day. This is a new one that I've started burning today. It's a diptyque patchouli. It smells lovely. I wanted something that would be a really nice transitional winter to spring fragrance. I'm running out of battery so I'm going to change the battery and then I'm going to gonna put the oven on, get that preheated and get the meatballs in with the pasta. They take about the same amount of time. Yeah, once everything's cooking, it'll be done really quickly. Also going to give this is a go for the first time. This is um, the Jamie Oliver Tomato and Mediterranean Vegetable Pasta Sauce. Meatballs are done. I have to mix the sauce from a distance. Why did I think it was a good idea to keep my white top on? To have spaghetti. 
done a quick side salad to go with it because I like I like I like my veggies. Honestly, if someone said to me, "You can't have vegetables with any of your dinners for the rest of the month," I'd feel really sad. Even if someone said, "Oh, you can't have any veggies for dinner tonight." I feel really sad. Even when we have pizza, I need to have like some salad. Do you want some cheese? It's a long bit of sketty. Today I'm making curry. I currently have the onions softened in here along with some cardamom pods in some coconut oil. Washed my hair a couple of hours ago, which is why I'm looking a little like Hagrid. <laughs> For years, whenever I made curry, I would make the same lentil dal that I know off by heart. And um, recently I thought it would be nice to try some new recipes. But the one I'm currently making is one I made for the first time a couple of weeks ago. It's really good and actually quite simple. Started breaking up my cauliflower. Um, here we have the chickpeas, coconut milk. Thank goodness we've got garlic paste hanging around in the fridge because we've run out of fresh garlic. And I've also just um, grated up some fresh ginger. We do though need our spices. So the spices we need, already got the cardamom pods in the pan, um, but we need ground cumin, ground coriander, and garam masala. Time to get these spices in. Also need um, turmeric or turmeric, as my mum always says, Rhiannon, you're, you're English, not American. I don't like things being overly spicy, so I always err on the edge of um, caution. I'm gonna do the teeny tiniest amount of chili flakes. Mix all those lovely spices in. Let them cook off for a minute or so. Tomatoes, then add. No. I need to add the chickpeas, and then I've got this little helper. He's going to um, help me do the cauliflower. The lighting is always so blue, and it's dark outside. I'm just going to drain these chickpeas. Good job. Thank you, Pop Pop. <laughs> In goes the cauliflower. You can add whatever vegetables you'd want to this courgette. It would be really nice as well. I'm going to leave that for about 10 15 minutes to let the cauliflower start to cook before I add the um, coconut milk. This little one is having her dinner in a bit because um, you're tired, aren't you? A couple of hours later, this has reduced down nicely. I'm just reheating it. I'm gonna add spinach. Also got some naan here, which I'm going to um, stick in the oven now. Last time I made this, the leftovers did me for a couple of lunches later on in the week. I think this time I'm going to freeze it and then it will do us another meal at some point. Got some brown rice, proper doms. I'm going to have mango chutney because I can't have proper doms without mango chutney, but also, it goes really nice with um, with the curry. Got some avocado on the side, some garlic naan. Also going to have a little bit of Greek yogurt. I'm gonna top it with some coriander and some sesame seeds. And there we have it. That is um, tonight's dinner. For our final meal of the week, we decided to order from the Mexican we had been eyeing up on delivery for a while. We both got tacos, Doug got a beef one, I got the black bean one. We had it with a side of chips with some barbecued cauliflower, which was incredible. And we also had some chocolate churros for after. And that was everything we ate for dinner that week. I realised I hadn't filmed an outro, so I'm here now um, just saying thanks for watching the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. If you stuck through the bad lighting thank you i didn't realize how dark a lot of the footage was luckily the evenings are getting lighter now so if you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more of these when i do come to film another one because it's going into spring summer now the lighting will be much better like i said thanks for tuning into this video bad lighting and all and i will see you in my next one goodbye